Hello everybody and welcome to Tea Time at the Ritz with Tricia. Now I arrived today at the Ritz on my bike um, through to St James's Park. It was a beautiful day uh, and when I arrived I obviously went to the ladies to tidy myself up and I decided to wear red because uh, red is a mood enhancer which I learned on Woman's Hour this morning and um, I also uh, had a a comment underneath the first video that I did on Monday from Helen who said today I watched you in my gardening clothes but tomorrow I'm going to be dressed up to the nines. So you may not uh, be that bothered about what you're wearing at the moment um, or putting on your makeup or doing your hair or any of that but I know that quite a lot of you are saying I am still determined to look as good as I possibly can given that you might be wearing quite casual clothes but it's really important to be aware of mood and uh, the way that, that clothes and how you look and so on and so forth can enhance that even if you're like me alone and very few people well, apart from you guys nobody is going to see me for the rest of the day. Um, now I arrived on my bike because I want to talk about getting moving. Uh, this is just so important. We are now being physically confined to quite a small area, the area of our houses and also the area of um, outside where we're just allowed to go out once to take some kind of exercise. Now I know some of you are living in places where um, which are beautiful and um, I've seen photographs on Trisha's Super Trooper page um, of what you've seen while you've been out that day but not everybody does live in a place like that so um, I don't know about you but I am determined that at the end of this I'm going to come out of it actually fitter than I started or at least keep my fitness levels to the uh, the highest that I can that's really what I want to talk to you about today um, I know some of you are insanely busy um, I, I followed a thread on our Super Troopers page yesterday. It was a chat between, and let me let me read these these names out because it was fantastic. It was between Kathy, Eleanor, Anne, Jenny, Susan, Miranda, Evelyn, Mary, Susanna, Janet, and Jan. Oh, they were all chatting to each other about what they'd been up to in terms of cleaning. And there was a photograph of the cleanest oven I've ever seen, stacks of iron sheets and um, cupboards all sorted. So I know you're really busy doing that stuff, but that's not the same as fitness. And we can kid ourselves if we're busy all day that actually we've uh, we've kept we're, we're keeping ourselves uh, fit, and that just isn't true at all. Now, I did a I did a blog post a couple of weeks ago about exercise, and um, I'm a bit like that really annoying person who's um, smoked for years, given up smoking, and then says, "Oh, I can't stand smoking." And I'm a bit like that about exercise. I didn't do any exercise whatsoever. 69 years of my life. I obviously moved around, I walked places, I went upstairs and things like that, but I engaged in absolutely zero um, formal exercise. I couldn't countenance the idea of being seen in public with my quite lumpy body and also with my incapacity to uh, to move in a way that I, I just thought you had to do if you were in a gym and I just thought I could never go to a gym and I felt quite desperate when I was 69 because I was starting to do things like get very stiff you know and I got up from a chair I was also starting to get a humpy back um, I w I'd fallen over a couple of times I hadn't hurt myself very badly but I tripped and fallen and I started to think my balance isn't very good and I was really worried, but I didn't know what to do about it. And then I met this amazing woman called Lindsay. And uh, we were chatting about a business-related topic. And I said, to, we started to talk about exercise. And uh, I said to her, you know what, I really need a personal trainer. And she said, well, I specialize in personal training for older women. It's like, oh, my goodness. So Lindsay and I got together and started to have some sessions and it just blew me away, really. Uh, I Because she started so gently with me and she was so conscious of being careful uh, not to overdo it and to make sure that I was doing everything appropriately, I never once felt stiff afterwards. I never once had that terrible feeling of, you know, I've gone 10 rounds with Mike Tyson or anything like that. And I started to realise that it was perfectly possible, even for somebody like me, to... Uh, to get fit. 
So uh, that's what I really what I want to talk to you about today. Um, I think the important thing is to be aware that um, it exercise isn't always about uh, aerobics, and I think we get very stuck on that. Um, if you hated sport at school as much as I did, then associating exercise with something that makes you sweat and get out of breath uh, is really off-putting. Now, obviously aerobic exercise is important and I just said I arrived today on my bike. Um, I bought myself a small pink exercise bike um, from Argos and uh, about three years ago and I now try and do all oh, I try and do 30 minutes on that most days, but a minimum of five times a week. And that's cardio, really. That's cardio workout. By the way, that little pink exercise bike, which I mentioned in my blog, is now sold out. And I think there are a heck of a lot of you out there who bought that bike. Um, uh, don't worry if that particular bike is sold out. There's lots and lots of other nice little exercise bikes out there. But mine is uh, just happens to be quite reasonable price. I think it's 70 quid. And uh, it's proved very popular obviously but what uh, what, what I've realized working with Lindsay is that there that there are, are the other bits of the body that actually need work when you're older so things like stretching um, I am appalled at how uh, short my muscles have become so things like stretching out my thigh uh, the muscles in my leg by pulling my foot up behind my knee is really hard for me to do but it's getting there you know it's loosening and this is the point it is never ever ever too late to start some kind of exercise program now while you're trapped indoors how are you going to go about doing that um, I've found uh, through recommendation from you guys and I've looked them up uh, three sites that you might want to watch some of you might be doing Joe Wicks which uh, I think uh, my daughter Susie said the other day that 850,000 people were doing Joe Wicks live uh, the morning when she, uh, she did it with her kids. So, uh, I mean, it's phenomenal. So have a look at that, you know, join in with Joe Wicks. But what I would say to you, if you're not used to doing exercise and you haven't done any, uh, you know, like me, you were almost a complete couch potato at the age of 69, as I was, then just don't uh, kill yourself you know be really really careful little little gentle fine gorgeous wonderful you know don't suddenly think that you've got to become uh, like Joe Wicks <laughs> who wouldn't want to be Joe Wicks he's absolutely gorgeous um, okay so uh, let's have a look at what I, I uh, said here so definitely remember warm up so warming up is just starting to move very gently, um, maybe lifting up on your uh, on your toes and so on and so forth, swinging your body, swinging your arms around, r rolling your shoulders, you know, head round, just gentle movement, gentle exercise just to get the muscles toned up and so on and so forth. And don't forget to cool down afterwards. Um, at home, you know, you've got various bits of equipment in the house already, so you can press uh, against the wall so you can put your hands flat on the wall level with your shoulders there and you can lean in and lean out stretch out lean in and stretch out same with a chair you can do brilliant tricep dips on a chair so you sit on a chair you then put your you, you hold with your, your your hands behind you you push your bottom off the chair and then you lower your bottom towards the floor and lift it up again see how many of those you can do um, you can also use uh, the pole perhaps on your broom if you un unscrew it and you've got a pole there which you can lift up put it by behind your head put it in front of your head you can you can move it around like that so uh, be inventive um, you could if you haven't got any weights, weights are brilliant because you can obviously, you know, bicep curls and all that kind of thing. Uh, small bottles of water, fill them up with water, weigh them, and you'll find that they're reason. You know, they're at least a small weight. And again, you can use those for tricep, um, sorry, bicep curls, or to stretch your waist at the side by adding a little bit of uh, of weight and so on and so forth. Now, I want to give you some recommendations for um, websites. Jane Fonda, Walk a Mile in 20 Minutes on Netflix. Leslie Sansone, S-A-N-S-O-N-E, the details of this are in the email, Walk a Mile. 
uh, Jenny McClendon over 50s fitness. So these are all women who are catering to an older age group. So they'll be doing lots of brilliant stuff that's, uh, you know, that's, that's safe. So uh, as I said, don't go mad. Bullet a gate. You've got two to three months to get fit. Wouldn't it be brilliant if at the end of it you were actually uh, in great shape? I'm determined to be. Um, just to end on a positive note, I'm, I'm loving some of the positivity that's coming out of this enforced uh, isolation. At a local level, kids are putting rainbows in their windows. If you've got any grandchildren, do, uh, do encourage them to do that. And it's just so that passers-by can feel an uplift from the rainbow. And it's a nice thing for kids to do and get involved in helping uh, the effort to raise morale. At a national level, fantastic yesterday, an appeal went out for 250, they were hoped that was their target, people to support the NHS by offering to drive and do various other things that are needed and 405,000 had signed up uh, by like last night, I'm sure it's more now. And then on an international, so it's like local and national, on an international uh, basis, um, Germany has been uh, airlifting those patients from Italy where they're overwhelmed into their healthcare system um, and similarly China has been sending healthcare professionals and equipment out to Italy so you know we are really all in this together and I think it's really really important that we're aware of that I'm also just I hope you don't mind me saying this but I'm going to give a shout out to um, you know charities are really suffering at the moment every people have just stopped spending money um, and that's you know that's probably a good thing to conserve what you've got um but if you are a charity that's offering vital support to people in these circumstances do be aware that they're you know that they are suffering um i'm going to give a shout out to two one is the trussell trust they run food banks and i reckon in a few weeks time not very long they're going to be uh, the demand for those is that the, their work is going to go through the roof because uh, there's a big delay in people being able to claim um, the payments from the government and so there's there's going to be a lot of need and of course if you give them if you if you usually put some food into a, a food bank bin at the supermarket uh, the money that you send them could buy uh, help them to buy supplies and I'm going to give a shout out to an uh, to to um, a charity that I particularly love which is Shooting Stars Chase it gives respite for um, very sick kids and very badly disabled children and the thing is that they are at home in their families and it's a, it's tough looking after a child that needs 24-hour care and Shooting Stars Chase I know is having a hard time at the moment so just just think about that uh, if you possibly can. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to do eyebrows and eye makeup. <laughs> Slightly lighter, but uh, uh, I hope you'll enjoy that uh, that tomorrow. I'm just going to have a look at how you tidy your eyebrows up if you can't get to uh, to have them threaded, and also a really simple eye makeup treatment, um, which I which I hope you'll enjoy. Um, so I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thank you for watching, and uh, keep moving. Bye-bye.